Your Majesty. Don't you want to play? It's been a long time. If that is your wish. Men, you are as meek as all the others. Such feeble creatures. Gifted the power of icons, yet slaves to fickle emotions which usher you to your doom. And so you bind your fragile wills with strands of consciousness. The wretched handiwork of a wretched people. The sons of fire were united at last, and for but a moment, their flame burned bright. Soon, Muthos shall become our perfect vessel. And then shall the world be remade. Not before the bonds are severed. Of trust, of respect, of love. Only when every strand of consciousness is cut away, may Muthos return to our side. By primogenesis shall all be undone. Mankind shall be rid of his wretchedness, and Muthos of his will. But while he yet clings to it, he has the power to forge bonds anew. And so we bid you. Find Muthos, and sever every one. To destroy that which has no physical form. You ask the impossible. There is nothing your black blade cannot cut, Odin. We shall unite with Muthos, and bring forth a new world. So long as our vessel remains unclaimed by humanity. It shall be done, Master. My will is yours. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> fuck. So now only Odin is left. Why is it purple? It, did he actually change the weather? Shit. So my so-called stepbrother is a goddamn Ultima the whole time. So they... He never had, she never had a child? She, she thought she had a child? What was going on? Or she... Or she was being controlled by Ultima as well. How is your brother? Asleep, since I returned from the Dominion. Taya says he should be back on his feet soon enough. For a while, at least. 
She discovered something on his chest. A swelling, circled in stone. The curse. For every mountain we climb, another arises up to greet us, doesn't it? It's never ending. Even the sky seems to have grown tired of it all. Things fall apart. Going on, I got the power of the light. Time has the portion of my crown of Bahamut as essence. I see Bahamut uh, not only change the element and aspect of Clyde's magic spells, but also allow access to several new icon ability. Okay. What do you do? What the fuck? Use, uh, use Bahamut's icon feet, wings of light. To begin casting Mega Flare. What the fuck? Holy shit. An immensely powerful spell that showers enemies with a dollar of searing light. The longer the spell is charged, the more powerful the result. Press circles to cast the spell when ready. Holy shit. Tony won't be happy if I disturb Joshua. While he rests, I might as well see what Otto has to say. Give me a sec. I, I want to see what other spells I could do. Where is it? There we go. Uh, we're almost there. Wait, wait. Okay. This is a four star? Four star for this? Holy shit. What if I master it? Increase the maximum ma uh, mega flare to level, level to four. Okay. Okay, chase after my enemies. Is there like any difference? No. They increase the number of orbs. Alright. And what about this one? Oh! Just a flamethrower. Wait. Did he get like dragged into it? Look like he got, got dragged into it too. Let me see. I, I want to see that again. Yeah, he got dragged into it. Okay, what about this one? Huh. I'm not liking these a little bit. <laughs> Fuck. What about the ultimate? It's a five star. Holy shit. You have enough? No, I don't have enough to buy that one. How much is that? Uh, I mean, like the upgrade. Increase the number. Okay. I want to buy that one. Fuck. We're almost there, filling up the whole page. What the fuck? With regular intelligence, I respond for my brothers and sisters to feel of all the same. The yeah, cursed sky cast not only the power, uh, pal, uh, pal over the land, but over the heart of the peoples. Hearts are already heavy from the fall of the dominance and the destructions of the storm. Uh, final mother crystal. For now, the realms endure, but which each new flood to her new remaining children descend from upon the madness. This situation is an airy dire. Fresh wings shall find you in the new moon turning. Until then, our watch continues. But the mess! Worst out of the twin side is that there's a little left of the capitals after the mad prince royal tantrum. But what of you and yours? Did you manage an escape before the city went to tits up? I trust you did. But Stalus might be good to set an L mine at ease. Fuck. I, I need to t uh, talk to the, the Tomb Lord. I want to see, uh. Uh, like, wait, if, it's, if, if that was actually my stepbrother or it was the Ultima the whole time. Trouble with your gear, or. Yeah. Not saying for you, dear. Ooh. Look at that. It'll last you a good while. Oh, no. 
Is that Excalibur? No, it's weak. God. So I don't need this no more. Fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. Anything else? What does it look like? Let me go to the light. I want to see it. Ooh. Kind of badass. It's kind of badass. Still alive, are ya? What do you have? Go on, then. Finished, are ya? Seems the hideaway's lost its... What you got? It has to be level it's 5 now. Good morrow to you, my friend. I have compiled some new entries, if you would like to see them. Now this, I believe you will find most interesting. If you have a question for me, I should be happy to answer it. The other building behind the much tragedy turmoil of the plague of Balesiva. He means to claim Clive as his vessel, Mythos. Okay. Uh, purging his will. A will strengthened by the rise of the conscious behind or that binds Clive from the others. He unleashed the promogenesis upon the world, shrouding in darkness and turning the thousand Akshi. But the ties the conscious of might be the last of the Lucin. I want to know about... Okay, that's Joshua. Let's see, where is the... I think it's the last part, isn't he? Okay, that's Ultima. His mother! Oh yeah, his mother! He saw his mother! What the fuck was that? The mother of King Barnbaris. Or alas, Ultima summoned illusion of her and his majesty's remember her li in her life. What the fuck is going on? Is that what he used uh, in Kupka? What happened to the medicine girl? <laughs> oh my god. Is he dead? Like a man foremost fighting the whole land. His soul remains ever at the ready. Should anyone be foolish enough to make the attempt to the life of his leech lord, Prince Dion, born in the family of a minor noble? Okay. Paris entered the prince service as a squire before claiming the dragon, dragoon's rank. He and Dion are, I mean, he and Dion are in a lovers. Okay. But I want to know if he's alive. That's my question. What about you? Motherfucker. Who are you? Don uh, Scytherer and Bell Liege are this age. Thanks to a large part of his mother's magnificent. Uh, Oliver was Antonio, the Emperor of the Holy Empire I say Reek. In fact, he triggered his half brother, Prince Dion, to launch a coup against them. It was Oliver's sinister goading that drove Dion to madness. It led to his own demise. Pierced through the heart by Dion's spear. As the boy died, his body crumbled into dust, proof that he has been become not but another puppet of Ultima. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm questioning about this motherfucker. Dead. Dead. Uh. Like. Did he... The mother ever give birth to this fucker? Or did she... The... Uh... Created him. Because, uh... The Empire killed... Or they believe... Or she believed... Killed... Joshua. Like, casting an illusion like the others. But, Ifrit Ryzen... The two icons of fire united as one. Clive and Joshua manifest the being of the skies above the crystalline domain. After entreating their icons to grant them the power to need it to quell the raging of Bahamut. It has the body of Ifrit, the wings of the phoenix, and the might of far exceed the other icon alone. And in truth... Okay, what's the hidden truth? Uh, mode of light, okay. In the city of the old flame now stands, along with the dominance of Bahamut, will always emerge. 
the modern times, dominance are often born among the Sabrix nobility, most likely because the tribe bloodline still runs strong in their ranks. I want to see that fucking golden, golden Bahamut. Damn it! Did you learn everything you needed. But finally, we got Joshua back. But it's well, but Joshua's a uh, companion. Where is she? She she has she has to be alive still. Did you see that? Is she? Tell me you saw that. New monsters, god damn it. What kind of new monsters do we have? Two. Oh. The level B. Level A! What the fuck? Am I, I had to fight three of these fuckers? Shit. Ruins reawaken. I still haven't fought this fucker. You give me another S? Shit. Skies, then. Otto, how fares the realm? The realm? Oh, she's just fine. As long as you look past the fat storms out mother crystals and her skies are a roiling cesspit. And Gav? He's with your uncle in the free cities, helping Mid with her project. Sent an owl their way the moment the winds turn foul. Still waiting on a reply, though. Do you have any good news? Well, that depends on your definition of good. All right, fine. What do you suggest we do? Oh, no, I'm just the messenger. I'll leave the scheme to those more suited to the task. Could be that Lady Vivian and Old Tomes have their own thoughts on the current state of things. Could be that they don't. It certainly can't hurt to ask. I suppose not. I wonder what the fuck is going on. What changed? Are right, you coming over here, Odin? Odin's taking over the whole place now? How is it that every one of your little excursions presages some inexplicable catastrophe? Not that you are to blame for the Dominion's fate. No one could have predicted the actions of the Crown Prince. I'm sorry I couldn't save your home. My countrymen are stronger than you think. A few toppled clock towers won't break their spirits. They'll be back on their feet in no time. I hope so. <laughs> Look at us. Bluer than a pair of bog crabs. Tempting though it may be, sulking will not help us find a solution to this mess. You believe there's one to be found? I don't know. But I am certain we're more likely to find it if we first examine the facts. Beneath these darkened skies, fear and confusion reign over Valisthea. Oh, the lands around the fallen Mother Crystals had already begun to wilt for want of ether. But not like this. Crystals that filled wells and fueled furnaces. Now nothing but pretty shards of rock. And those that hang from the people's necks cast nary a glimmer of light to keep the dark at bay. It is only a matter of time before the common folk convince themselves that the end of days is upon us. Yet I fear a swift end is more than we can hope for. While most of the world thirsts for ether, there remained a drowns in it, spawning Akashic in droves. And amidst the hordes of mindless beasts, with magics as like to fail as function, even the strongest nation would falter. Rosaria and the Iron Kingdom teeter on the brink of collapse, while the tragedy in Twinside has all but paralyzed the Holy Empire. Dalmechia fares little better. Rumor has it, the ministers fled the capital after the fall of Drake's Fang, leaving their beloved Republic to crumble. Walud, meanwhile, moves in earnest. The Einherjar 
has been sighted off storm. The world, in short, is in chaos. It would seem our civilization was nothing but a castle of sand, to be washed away at the whim of the waves. A castle of sand? Not my best flourish, but it seemed fitting. The reports I've received are considerably more blunt in their appraisal. Without the protection of their nations, it will fall to the people to defend themselves against those who would take what is theirs. Which is only ever going to end one way. Defending a farmhouse against a band of chocobo thieves is one thing. But pitchforks and palisades will do little to stall an army's advance. Should the King of Wulu deign to invade, there would be none to stop him. Hmm. None but us. Let me check. Let me check something. Back again? Yep. What is it that you wish to learn? This is where I saw before, isn't it? Yeah. This. Part, part company. All right. Confronts. Mistrust. I wanna know if he died. Fuck, I'm still wondering. Team against. Go, weapons here. Part company. Alright, uh. That says. Punishes? What the fuck? He trying to punish me? What the fuck? Commands. Battle. Execute. Slays. Protects. <laughs> God damn it. Deceased, deceased. Here you are. Like, what the fuck is this? Oh, the Holy Knights of Dragoon. Oh, this is when he, like, did the coup. Alright. When we fought. These guys are still here. What the fuck? I thought, I thought these guys were gonna move by now. Alright. The state of the realm is ever changing, fuck. Clive. Let me guess. You're here about the skies. Is there anything you don't know, Lawsman? <laughs> it doesn't take a court astrologer to argue the obvious. As for what has disturbed the heavens, that, I believe, is a question the Fallen might be better placed to answer than I. And on the sixth day, did the gods tear the sun from the firmament, visiting darkness upon their prideful sons and daughters? But I dare say you remember your childhood lessons on the sins of Zemeckis only too well. You think they're connected? That Ultima was one of the gods responsible? Well, he has certainly exhibited powers that we mortals would associate with the divine. There is nothing divine about him. <sighs> but he wouldn't be the first god of whom that could be said, now would he? Yet for all the fairy tales that tell of the sins, there is almost nothing in the way of actual historical accounts. Had I the journal of Moss the Chronicler, I may have been able to tell you more, but alas, I fear all remaining copies have been lost to time. You will forgive me, I hope? Certainly not. Because there is nothing to forgive. Even without this journal, you've provided us ample wisdom. And we will always be grateful for it. Perhaps Otto will be more inclined to share his thoughts when he hears what the others had to say. So... Ultima could have been one of those gods! I thought Ultima was like a, a human! That he was the human like trying to fight the gods and they like fucking... The gods are like just... Summon mother crystals and seal them in. 
That's what I thought. I thought the mother crystals were like seal. Like when Sid uh destroyed the mother crystal, he just like came out of nowhere. Fuck. Clive, we have a problem. Only one. That would be a first. It would. Actually, there are three. We had as many owls arrive while you were at the shelves. Martha's got a cache at her gates, and talk of monsters roaming the hills outside of Northreach has put the wind up Isabel and her lot. And don't forget Dalimil. Lubor says the village was raided by bandits. When it rains... It fucking pours. The curse breakers are spread thin, taking stock of the damage in the Dominion. And even if I could get word to all of them, I doubt they'd get here in time to make any real difference. Which means... There's only two people who can. Jill and I. Let them know we're on our way. Shit. Oh, there's side missions. What have we got? How are you doing? Anything catch your eye? Oh, that's the main mission. Holy shit. Who should I go first? Yeah, go here where a bunch of Fucking assholes who were like fucking piece of shits. How much I get? 45. 45. I get zero money from this place. So yeah, this one's last. Fuck this place. <laughs> this place is last, damn it. Always something in there. How may I help you today, Clive? Your benefactors are a generous lot. Ah, so close. Best of luck out there, Sid. So close. Wait, why are you updated? What's going on? What will it be today? Why are you updated? What is it that you wish to learn? Of course. They worship this fucking bastard? Enemies. They worship him? Rescues. Okay. God damn, I didn't know he worshiped him. I thought you only serve. Holy fuck. One must understand one's place in the world. Okay, bandits. Akashi. Who are those guys again? Are those the Iron Blood? Beast. Let me see. They brought about but the living being uh over exposure of ether. Oh those those people who were exposed by ether, like they transformed into like some kind of crystal monsters. You know what? I go to Martha first. She remembered who I was. That's Clive. I'm going there first. <laughs> <laughs> 